Today I will guide you step by step how to use Loopflow plugin in After Effects. With the help of Loopflow, we can convert still images into seamlessly looped videos. By defining two masks, we can specify the flow area and direction, making it ideal for animating continuous fluid motion such as flowing water, billowing smoke, flying particles, and fire. Let's dive in and bring our still images to life. First, create a new composition and give it a name loop flow. Import an image you want to use. Apply loop flow effect on image. Now we need to create a flow area. We can do that with masking. We need to draw two masks on the image layer to define the flow direction. Now go to mask one and assign mask one to it. Select mask two and assign second mask to it. Now check the preview. You will see the animation that loops seamlessly between the masked area. Adjust the mask. Check preview wireframe mesh. It will help you visualize how the effect distorts and moves the image. Adjust the flow direction to your liking. Go to alpha and adjust alpha across ramp and alpha along ramp curves. Alpha across ramp adjusts transparency across the width of the flow, helping blend the effect seamlessly into the image. While alpha along ramp controls transparency along the flow direction, gradually fading the effect from start to end. For this image, we need to create more masks and define more flow directions. Create two masks right here. Duplicate the loop flow plugin. Go to mask one and assign mask three to it. Go to mask two and assign mask four to it. Now check the animation. We need to create two masks here. That will be mask five and six. Duplicate the loop flow plugin. Go to mask one and assign mask five to it. Go to mask two and assign mask six to it. Adjust the masks if you need to. Create two masks at that point. Again, duplicate the loop flow effect. For mask one, select seventh mask. And for mask two, select eighth mask we created. So far, our animation looks like this. Okay. Add more masks and repeat the steps. We can animate this image by two or four masks, but that will give a fake look. To add more depth and to look natural or real, we need to add more and more masks. Okay, that will be our last mask set for this water drop area. That looks good to me. Adjust the masks if you need to. Okay, now to give it a more natural look, we need to animate the water mist as well. Water mist is going up, so we need to create masks from bottom to top. Create two masks for it, duplicate the effect, and assign these two masks to mask one and mask two. Now check the preview. You will see the water mist moving. Everything looks good, but this water is not moving. Let's animate this portion as well. Analyze the image and create a natural flow. Again, we can animate this portion with just two masks, but that may not look good and natural. Create as many masks as possible to give it a natural look. Here, 
water is going in the right direction, so create the masks accordingly. Here, flow is to the left, so we will create masks in this direction. This area is not moving. Adjust the masks if you need to. That's it guys, we have animated this waterfall. That looks amazing. This was just one example of how we can use loop flow to bring still images to life. In future videos, we'll explore more creative possibilities with the examples we see in the intro. I hope you liked this video. Stay tuned and subscribe the channel for more.